What's quack -a lacking guys? I'm a duck quack here and welcome to a new series on the channel and it's going to be something similar to what we did last year where we just take a fresh account and go through the best possible way to actually maximize your coins and eventually get up to that 1 million coin mark. Now it's going to be a lot of the same stuff that we saw previously in the sense of we're going to be doing a lot of SBCs, we're going to be talking about how to best maximize value from consumables, players that you get, matches, bronze pack method, all kinds of different trading techniques and whatnot. But it's going to be a fresh account, obviously, as you can see, and it's going to show you every single step of the way there. So without further ado, we need to do the basics, obviously, like, let's just get rid of a random guy that's going to have no use to us like this. Let's get a new goalkeeper. Yeah, let's get a new goalkeeper. Uh, sign a loan player, all of this kind of nonsense. It doesn't really matter who we get. We'll go for someone with the most amount of games just so we can get a bit more value out of them. Uh, the kits, again, they don't really matter because... We're going to be changing the kits. Most people have kits that they actually want to play with so they can get those down the line. We'll use the Swansea badge. They're going for relegation. We're probably going to get relegated when we play from Division 10. We're going to talk about all of those weekly objectives, the monthly objectives, the daily objectives, whatever kind of objectives we have. And we're just going to basically build from nothing. So at the very, very start, some of you guys will and some of you guys won't have access to the catalogue. And if you have access, you will have a lot of points or you won't have many points to spend at all. So if you don't have the available balance in the catalogue, then what you're going to simply have to do is play more games. So for example, we're going to unlock this one to start with. It's going to give us a thousand coins extra for the first 10 games we play. If you don't have access to these kind of coin unlocks, it just simply means that you're going to have to play a few more games than perhaps you might see us playing here. It doesn't make a huge difference, it just means it's going to take you that little bit longer to actually get up to the level of where you've got enough coins to kind of follow along with this guide and play along. Now, as for the purpose of games and stuff, there's no point in me showing you them. It's not going to be very entertaining. We're going to be using an absolutely awful team, as you can see. So it's more a case of I'll show you the coins we get at the end and how we choose to spend them. For the starting team and everything, we're going to use these bronze players that we've got here basically until we can no longer use them. So we're going to use them until either their contracts have gone or until their fitness just gets to a level where it is not physically possible to play with them. But coming up against Division 10 players, if you've played FIFA before, you should find it fairly easy anyway. If you're new, then it's going to be a struggle whatever team you use. You may as well use these awful players to pick up the basics and then upgrade to a decent enough team when you have more coins. So eventually we're going to find a game here. I'm going to finish that game off and then we will jump straight back into it. Okay, so the first game, it literally lasted five seconds. The guy just grabbed the ball off us, kicked it out, and then decided to quit. So, I mean, we're not picking up a win for the game. It doesn't really matter about that, though, because our record is kind of irrelevant here. All that really matters right now is the amount of coins that we have. So, the first thing we're going to mention, or the first thing we're going to jump into here, is the bronze pack method. Now, the bronze pack method is something that you can find videos about on my channel, guides about from other people, loads of videos and everything. There's a guide on Footbin as well, which I will leave in the description if I remember that I wrote. And the basis of it is we're just opening bronze packs, selling everything that we get that has some kind of value, and then everything else we're just storing in the club. So it's so simple, but the basis behind it is that over the course of all the bronze packs, we will make a profit. And on top of that, we will also increase the amount of players we have in our club ready for stuff like uh, squad builder challenges or whatever we may need them for. It's basically just squad builder challenges, though. As you can see, these first two players will be very lucky if we get a sell, but we list them up anyway while we have the space available on our transfer list. And it's the same again with this Irish guy. We're going to be lucky if they sell. The contracts we're going to store in the club because we're going to use these contracts instead of the gold contracts just because it's going to save us those little bit of coins again down the line. Sometimes you also get quite lucky and a kit does sell, but it is extremely rare. The majority of kits are going to be going for about 200, but there weren't very many of that kit, so we'll give it a gamble anyway. The rest of it, we'll just quick sell. We'll get ourselves 26 coins back from it. That pack is most likely going to be one where we lose coins on, but not every pack is going to be like that. Eventually, you will get a pack that gives you about 5,000 coins for one huge player or something around that kind of area. Maybe a silver in form if you're stupidly lucky, but it's just a case of grinding through as many as you possibly can and just getting that coin balance up a little bit while you're doing everything else. The big players you're ideally looking for are the ones that are currently in the league SBCs. They're the ones that have the most value because they're the ones that are actually needed. Stuff like this guy from Hamburg, if there was a Bundesliga SBC out, he may be worth a little bit more, but as it stands, 
There's one up for 200 that's been listed five minutes ago, and then the lowest is 450. So we'll go in at 400 and see if we get lucky. Whether we do or not, it doesn't matter. We can always list them for lower afterwards if not. And again, 200 on this guy. Sometimes the managers sell again. The fitness cards, they can be listed up as well. This year, because fitness is so easy for people to come about, they don't sell quite as much as they have previously. But listing them up for 200 coins a pop isn't a bad thing by any means. Likewise with the training cards. Sometimes you'll get one that does sell for a little bit. The healing cards as well, all of that kind of stuff. But to start with, those two packs weren't fantastic for us, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to jump straight back into another game. Okay then, guys, next game as well. It's a fairly quick one. I think we lasted about 19 minutes before we got the Rage Quit, which is brilliant. That's what we want for this series. We just want to get as many coins as we can as quickly as we can. But that puts us up to, well, just under 1,600 coins. And after the quick sell of a couple of packs, that will be another four bronze packs that we can open here. So again, we're just looking for something big, something huge that can just take our coin total up that little bit more. I know that it may be a little bit tedious watching me do absolutely everything on here. But the point of this series is to show you every single step of the way. I don't want to just suddenly jump and say, okay, now we've got... 20,000 coins or something and you guys have no idea how it's done and just find it kind of unbelievable because that's not the point of this series We want this series to actually show you step by step how it is possible This guy here a Polish goalkeeper. There's no reason he's ever gonna sell. We'll list him up while we've got space But normally we just send him straight to the club This one here though is a Super League player So there is a chance he's got some value to him because he's used in the league SBC so at the moment, we've seen a 1,000 coins for his cheapest price. And I am going to go through, and I'm going to list my guy up for the cheapest, because I want him to sell nice and quickly. We've got 950 as the cheapest. So if we get in there at 900 coins, that pays for just over two bronze packs from that one player. Sometimes, like I said, the managers do sell. Very rare, though, and I'm not even going to bother you, if I'm honest with you. Um, contract we do want to keep. The badges and stuff, not going to bother with. 100 coins again. So we've got 2.5 bronze packs from that one pack there and 66 coins as well from discarding. So that was an incredibly good bronze pack for us. And we also have to remember the stuff that isn't selling is going to get stored in our club. We can use those in upgrade packs. We can use them for SBCs. We've got a silver player in this pack. You could get stupidly lucky and pull someone like a little centre back. There's like 20,000 coins or something instantly. They're the kind of big ones that we're going for. But getting one of those is kind of like packing a walkout with a gold pack. So... I really wouldn't count on it anyway. Uh, we've got a Premier League goalkeeper here. And I think the cheapest one was actually the first player we saw, like 950. Okay, we'll list him up for 900 coins as well. I don't know if he's going to sell, but there's a good chance uh, he will. He's a championship player, not a Premier League, sorry. And there's a championship SBC out, which is why he has a little bit of value to him. We've still got like 18 slots left, and we're lucky enough to have the unlocks for extra slots. So we can just fill our transfer list. Again here, we've got a Russian League player. So we may be lucky. No. Sometimes the teams just have so many players that the ones that you pack aren't needed because that position or that team just have so many other viable options that yours is just not going to make a difference in the whole world of things anyway. We still got 992 coins though. So two more bronze packs left. Then we're back to just playing some games. So it's just a rinse and repeat, long grinding process to start with. But if you want to have a lot of coins, if you don't want to just rinse through your coins every time you get them, this is the way to do it. It takes time. It takes patience. It takes games playing with boring teams. But eventually you will get that. <laughs> it is worth it. Why is this guy going for so much money? Is he in an SBC or something? I don't think he is. I have no reason to think he is. Um... We're going to list him up for 700, but I don't understand why he's so expensive, and I can't see any reason he's going to sell. These guys here, they're second league players, so they're just not going to have any value to them. And just to show you guys, they're going to be loads for like 200 coins. I'm an idiot. The one time I decided to give an example is the one time where there's a chance he may sell for 200 coins. Uh, we'll check as well with the Spanish striker. And that's why it's so important just to check every player, because... No matter how well you think you may know the market, it's just so clear now that it can surprise you every single time. And both of those guys, they have a chance of selling for some coins that I otherwise might have just stored in the club. This guy, however, I can't see him selling. I'm not going to lie. This guy is very unlikely to sell. We'll keep the contracts, list up the fitness again, and then all the badges and kits and stadiums we will just ditch for those few extra coins. Literally like 10 extra coins or something we got there. So we've got one bronze pack left. 
And that's only from playing two games. If you have these coin unlocks, we've already opened six bronze packs. And we've got two silver players. Damn, we've been stupidly lucky here. I don't think that's Bundesliga. I think it may be Bundesliga 2. And if it is Bundesliga 2, I can see no reason why he's going to sell. But I said this last time. I could be completely wrong now. There is literally no reason. Uh, we'll list him up for 250. We'll just go for a quick sell. The rare, play, the rare bronze players, they sometimes sell. And <laughs> I have no idea why they sell. There's no SBCs out then. I still can't get my head around it, but they do. And that's why it's just worth listing them. And then we've got two championship players here afterwards. So there's a few for 200 for that guy. And I'm guessing the Nottingham Forest goalkeeper probably is going to be like a 200 coin player as well. Yeah, we'd be lucky to get 200 coins for him, but we'll try it anyway. Keep the contracts, sell the badges, the training, and the bull, which is quite nice because it's about 30 odd coins you get for the bull. That puts us on to 255 coins, and we currently have 23 items selling. So it's just simply straight into our third game here. No stopping. We've only been playing for about 20 minutes so far, and we've got a long grind ahead of us. Okay then, guys. So it took a bit longer this game to get the rage quit. I think we missed a lot of big chances in this game, but it's irrelevant. We got the rage quit into the second half, about the 60th minute. We pick up our 1,000 coin bonus again. We pick up some extra coins, and we've got something on the transfer list that has sold. Just one item, but... It's that 600 striker. The one that I said is never going to sell because he's a striker from the second Spanish division. And yeah, lo and behold, the one player I say isn't going to go anywhere is the one that sells first. So straight back into some more packs here. We are going to need to unlock the transfer slots in a second because we are quickly running out. Now, if you guys don't have the coins uh, or a catalog to unlock these slots, then just make sure you're not listing these players that are flooding the market for 200 coins and storing these in the club. For example, this guy. Chances are he's not going to sell, so store him to your club and instead list the ones that are more likely to sell. We've got Bundesliga 2 left back. Again, he's not going to sell. That's another example of a player you'd pop into your club. But we do have a PSV striker from the Eredivisie who is going for... Damn. Okay, so we've got about 1,000 coins there. Let's list him up for... Let's give someone a steal at 850. Again, contracts will keep. Um, how much do these actually discard for? Three coins. You know what? I'm going to keep a couple of them just in case we actually pick up an injury and we need to use one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we need to use one, then it's worth having. So we'll store that one in the club. And I think we've got a couple of slots left on our transfer list at the moment. And then probably after this pack, we'll need to unlock a few more. And again, like I said, don't worry if you don't have this. It doesn't slow you down all that much. It just means you've got a bit of extra work to do. We've got a league. Uh, wow, 900 coins. A lot of these players that I'm not expecting to sell for that much are actually selling, which is just mad. Like this guy here, I cannot imagine him selling. Surely not. And again, he does sell. And I can't understand why, because he's a league, oh, English league free. And there's no reason for him to have this much hype around him. The same with the Scottish player here. There's no reason for him to sell, but there's like nothing of him on the transfer list. So there's a good chance he will. Japanese player, again, haven't got a league SBC for them. So finally, one that isn't going to sell. Uh, let's store those two in the club. You know, sometimes the pace ones actually do sell, but we've got no slots left. So we're just going to discard that one for now. And we'll check the next one that we get there. We will quickly jump onto here and just find those transfer list increases because we are going to need those for this. Um, oh, there's another thing. These ones here, the 99 contracts, they actually sell as well. I think they sell for like 600 odd coins. So it's definitely worth redeeming those if you have them available as well. Just carry on down here. Uh, we don't need the transfer target slots, but we might as well increase it anyway while we're here. Um, we'll get another contract. I think they sell for about 500 coins, maybe a little bit more actually. I'm not entirely sure if that's correct, but I know they used to at least. And we've got three of them already. Uh, there's the transfer list increase. I think there's one more that's a 30 slot increase somewhere. There it is. And we don't have it yet. We need to get up to level 45. We're only level 37 on this account. And I have no idea what that just said. Did it say we had unassigned items? I'm assuming they'll be in here. Nope, they're not. Where are our unassigned items then? Maybe when we get to open a pack, it'll actually just load up and say you've got these. There we go. There we go. Okay, so these are the contracts. The 99... 
let's store those in the club because we've got no space. We haven't logged in and out. <laughs> I thought we had to quick sell them there. So we've got those free contracts to sell now, which should bring in about another 1,500 coins if they still sell for as much as they used to. We've still got enough to open some more bronze packs here. So things are going pretty well already. We haven't been on the account long. We haven't really done much on it except for play free games. And we're probably sitting on around four or 5,000 coins by the time everything is sold. At least four or 5,000 coins, I would assume. So we've got slots available again on our transfer list there. So let's just jump straight back into some bronze packs. We've still got enough, probably, for three, possibly four, with the discards as well added on. And it's the rare players that we really want to see. They're the ones that are selling for the most, the rare bronzes. And then if you get lucky enough, the silvers as well. This guy, though, Russian League. Again, League SBC could have some value. Doesn't have any value whatsoever. This time, this League 2 Spanish centre-back, is he going to sell as well? Why? I can't understand why these guys are selling. I don't think there's any SPCs out around them or anything. So it makes no sense in theory, but it just shows why you've got to check every single player. That guy's not going to sell in a hurry, so we'll list him anyway. Keep those contracts, discard the rest of it. And that'll give us a few coins back. We should push up for another three packs here. And again, guys, I do apologize that this is a bit tedious watching all of these packs being opened and just going through everything here. But I don't want to make one of those videos that you see where someone says, OK, do this. And now we have 100,000 coins. I literally want to show you every single little step of the way so that when you guys come to do it, you know exactly what you're trying to do and what the goal is. Basically, we get a Bundesliga goalkeeper that might sell for a few coins. 400. Will we get 300 for him? Hey, if it sells for 300, that basically pays for the pack. Especially when we think about those two gold balls we've got there to discard. Uh, the Korean guy there isn't going to go for anything in a hurry. Keep the contracts. List up the fitness and hope we get lucky and someone buys that one. And then ditch the rest of it there. Okay, so we've got 1,600 coins again. Something else has just sold instantly. I'm guessing it might be that uh, second Spanish League centre-back that we just listed for like 400, 500 coins or something. Because that seems to be kind of the boost we got from that anyway there. Another three players. It's another centre-back from the second Spanish league. And it, is it the same guy? It is exactly the same guy. I wonder if he's the one that sold last time for 500. Maybe. Maybe. We've got a Saudi Arabian player, which might sell because of the league SBC again. So we've got about 900 coins as the cheapest. So we'll list ours up for 800. We just want the quick sell. We want these coins to come back in so that we can reinvest. And 100 coins isn't worth waiting like an hour or whatever it might take for it to sell for. Contracts will keep. Now, these are quite big ones as well. Squad fitness. Last year, you'd be getting about a 1,000 coins for them. This year, it's looking like we're going to be getting somewhere around about 600 coins for it, maybe. We could wait longer and list it on a whole cycle for the hour and wait for it to sell for that price that's a bit more. But again, we're just after the coins fairly quickly, so we can just pump through things here and keep the ball rolling. And this is only the third match we've played, and we've been open... Maybe like seven, eight bronze packs this time round. So it gets crazy the amounts of packs that you actually get to open from this. I cannot imagine a second league French goalkeeper selling, surely. No, there's no chance he is going to sell either. So I'm going to list these guys for one cycle. If they don't sell for the 200 coins, I'll just simply send them to the club. This guy just isn't going to sell, so I'm not even going to bother. A league free German centre mid? I can't imagine him having any kind of value either. You know what? I'm going to stop listing everything because we will run out of slots. So I'm going to store those guys in the club. Russian League goalkeeper, not selling either. We'll keep the contracts. We've already got an arm healing card. Um, send them to club. Discard the rest. And we are on 946 coins still. So still another two packs that we can open. Now, the reason that we're opening these 400 coins instead of the 750 coins is we get the same amount of cards in it we just get two less rares. And if those rares are contracts or if they're anything that's just of no use to us, we're doubling the value of the pack and we're getting nothing extra in return. Look at that, seven players in one pack. That's absolutely mad. I wonder if this League One player sells. We might get like, I don't think I'll sell for 200. I mean, it's not huge, but it's half the pack value back already. Um, we've got an English League Four. I can't see him selling. The Ipswich players, they've had huge use throughout the year. It's a good example because these guys have been selling for about a thousand coins at points just simply due to SBCs. So having him in the club if he doesn't sell, it's brilliant for those kind of events. I can't see an old Bundesliga striker selling either, but what do I know? Because apparently there's like none of him on the market. So I'll list him up for 350. An Irish right back here. Again, no reason he's going to sell. 
a German League free cam. Again, I can't imagine him selling. Nope. And the last one to check is the Pro League right wing. Again, it's another SBC, but... Oh, wait, has the Pro League been released? It might have been released. I can't even remember. We'll store those in the club for now. Keep the contracts. Discard those free. And I was about to say we've got one pack left, but something else just sold. So we're up to another three packs. And this is just how bronze pack method can kind of spiral. You just suddenly start seeing things sell from your transfer list. You get that one big pool that's a couple of thousand coins, and then you can just keep going with this for ages. It can get a little bit tedious, but it just shows that there's value amongst it. There is no way that goes worth that much. What league is he in? Super League. See, some players from the Super League, they just have value to them. So that we're going to list ours up for 1,300, because that 1,500 one has been on the market for a while and hasn't sold. So hopefully a couple of hundred coins cheaper could entice someone. That guy's not selling. We get another Ipswich player. And again, if this was the marquee matchup kind of period, then these guys would have made us an absolute fortune. We'd be about, I don't know, 10, 12k up just from these couple of players. We'll list them anyway, see if he sells. We'll keep that guy, we'll keep the contracts, list up that fitness card. I wonder if anything else has sold while we've been doing this pack here as well. If not, we've got another two packs to open before we jump into our fourth game, which is still brilliant. We've, we must have opened over 10 packs this time round alone and been for at least 20 bronze packs in total now. We do get another rare bronze player as well, and these can be the big ones. Is it the Turkish League again? Hopefully it is, because that last Super League player was huge for us. It's Bundesliga 2. Again, can't see him selling. Completely wrong again. <laughs> 700 is the cheapest. There's a couple of them. We'll go 600 on him. We've got a USA player in the Alsvenskan League. Quite a few of him on the market. An MK Dons player. Again, I think it might have been last year that these guys went through the roof for the Delhi Alley SBC. This year, maybe not quite so much, but they were going for like 10k, which was just madness because you needed it for Player of the Month Alley. And that's why having them in the club is just huge. If you get lucky and an SBC drops where you need the players, you're just going to make an absolute fortune. Okay, last pack here. Last pack, unless something else sells before we jump into our fourth game. And we get another rare player. So we've got quite a bit of luck, actually, with these rare players. It's not a Calcio A player or Serie A player, sadly. It's probably the second division, but it's a rare goalkeeper. It might sell. We've seen quite a lot of luck with these rare players, actually. Uh, we probably get 200 coins for him. Let's try 250. Let's try and be a little bit greedy on that one. The Colombian League players, again, can't see a reason for them to sell. But there's like none of him up there for 200 coins, so we will list him. And then a right mid here as well. Let's see if this guy goes for anything now. We'll send him to the club, store all those contracts in the club, list up that fitness card. And I think that pretty much does it for there. Uh, yeah, nothing I've sold now. So let's just quickly see what did sell before we jump into that next game here. We've got four items that have sold now. It's been the Spanish striker, the PSV striker. That left back, the Irish one, went for 200, and the squad fitness sold instantly. So we've still got quite a few big cards down here that could sell. And if not, we can just read this for that a little bit cheaper. And a lot of these guys are just going to get sent to the club. But we've got so many items listed up already. So all we can do now is just simply jump straight into a fourth game. And like I said, guys, it's boring. It's tedious. It's so repetitive, but if you ever want to have a high coin total on FIFA, you've got to put up with all of this nonsense and just ride out the rough times, basically, until you get to the promised land where you can just afford those huge players, those icons, those team of the years, maybe. We'll get there eventually. Okay, then, guys, so we did manage to force another rage quit about the 68th minute, but we made things a lot more difficult than they needed to be. I think we went tooled at one point before we finally got our stuff together and ran away with the game there. The main thing is, though, that is some more coins. I think we're one win away from the division title now. And division titles are huge because they're going to give you so many extra coins to play with. We have had a load more stuff sell as well. So those four had already sold. We've got the the goalkeeper, the Sutherland goalkeeper went for 900, 1,300 coins here for that Super League player. The uh, Irish centre-back has also sold as well as the Scottish Prem centre-back. So we're up to about 4,000 coins. And what I think we're going to do is, let's clear that stuff from there, so we've got a few more slots. And to end this first episode off, we're just going to go crazy through these packs. So we're going to probably be able to open at least 11 of these. I'm guessing that if a couple of things we get from these packs sell, that, that could be closer to 15. Well, a bit of luck and we could get closer to 15 anyway. So first pack up here, nothing huge. There's no reason this guy's going to sell. Again, I'm just going to check him all though, because I've been wrong so many times. 
There's quite a few of him up for 200. We do get a Swansea striker, though. So, Premier League player. We've got a bid of 200 there. 2,000, 1,100. How long ago is that 1,100 listed? Let's just list those up for 1,000 coins. If he sells, fantastic. If he doesn't, then we'll lower the price a little bit afterwards. And a second league French right mid, which we will just store those in the club. Discard the rest of it. The two balls, again, really nice because it gives us that little coin boost. And if that one player that we get in that pack sells, that covers two more bronze packs. So even if we just break even, like I said, then we're absolutely killing it at the moment with these bronze packs because we're going to be stocking our club up with these players as well. Uh, no reason for him to sell. Let's check this English cam here. He might go, you know, there's not loads of him on the market. We'll list him up and hope. We've got another Irish player, an Irish left back, and these guys are selling for 200 coins when we list them. So we will list him up as well. And then we've got a pro league player, which I think is the league yet to come out. Uh, we've got 300 coins. We'll list him up for 200 coins. He might sell, he might not. And we will check this guy. I'm almost guaranteeing this time that he's not going to sell, though. Yeah, there's quite a few of him for 200. Keep the contracts, keep the player, list up the fitness card as well. I got a feeling we could hit our 70 slot maximum with these packs here, which would be pretty nice to have 70 items selling. Even if those 70 items all went for 200 coins a piece, then that would give us 14,000 coins, which is mad. This is just from bronze packs. Obviously, we've had the match boost bonuses as well. And taking that off, we'll still be about 8,000 coins up from our first episode. So it's pretty obvious. The more coins you have, the easier it is to make coins. So it's a bit slower for us to start off here. But I'm happy with the grind. And you've got to be happy with the grind if you're making a new account. You can't expect things to just happen. Uh, these two guys here, Japanese player and him, are not going to sell in a hurry. Discard the rest of it again. And we've got 100 coin unlock. Sorry, 200 coin unlock. So that pays for half of the pack itself there. And we are still sitting pretty on about three and a half thousand coins here. So it's just a case of powering through them. We get a silver player again. I think that's our third silver player of the episode. And it's a Bundesliga 2 left back, I think. Again, can't see much of a need for him, annoyingly. Um, 600 coins is the cheapest. Let's see if we can get 500 coins for him, which would be amazing. Pays for the pack itself. Then we've also got a Pro League goalkeeper which may go for like 300 coins by the looks of it. Uh, he may go for 200 coins. We'll list him for 200. Again, an MK Dons player, which last year would have been incredible. This year, I was going to say incredible as well, but not quite as much. But not a lot of them for 200, so we will list him as well. And then a right back from the Saudi League, which may have a bit of value. It doesn't, but it's fine. We'll list him if he sells. He sells if he doesn't. There's no harm done. If these two fitness cards sell, though, that pays for the pack itself. So... Again, not an awful pack by any means. Players stored in the club, a couple of players listed up, and the fitness cards, and something's just sold as well. So it could have been that player we just got. We're back up to 4,000 coins, back up to 10 more of these bronze packs. I feel like all I've done this episode is just open bronze packs. It's been long. I think we've been recording for 59 minutes. So it hasn't even been an hour on this account, and we aren't far off of around 10, 15,000 coins potentially. Another Ipswich player here who should go for about 350. And then another Irish centre back. And these guys are selling for some reason. I don't know if they're usable in an SBC at the moment, but if it goes for 200 coins, again, I'm happy with it. Keep the player, keep the contracts, list the fitness. It's just the same thing pretty much repeated over and over again here. We're not doing a lot different. We're just kind of rinsing the same methods. Someone else sold again there. Um, the fitness and healing cards. Healing cards is something we really haven't seen much of. We can get the rare healing cards, obviously, but I think stuff like foot, it might be foot still this year, that has a bit of value to it itself. So if we come across any of those, they can massively boost the value of a pack up as well. But for some reason, we just haven't seen any of them yet. We do get another English cam here, which, whoa, 750? Okay, let's just give a 500 because I don't see any reason for it to be nearly as high as it is. And then we do have a right back from the Bundesliga as well, which 400 coins might be possible. 600 is the lowest, 500. That's pretty much nailed on with 400 coins, actually. We'll keep the player, keep the contracts as well, and then just discard all the rest of it. I had a lot of trash in that pack. Not that many players, not that many contracts, fitness or anything. Just a lot of like badges, kits, and stadiums that we're just going to end up discarding. I don't think we've had a rare player in three, four packs or so now as well. Which, we were bound to hit a dry period at some time, but it hurts when it happens. Another Bundesliga player here, though. And 800 coins, is that the cheapest? Amazing. So we'll go for 700 on him. 
We don't want to go too close because it's just easy for people to undercut. We want the quick sells again with these. That guy's got quite a few up there, and I can't see any reason he sells. We will list. Uh, we will store the fitness to the club actually because we've only got eight slots left. We have filled this a lot quicker than I thought we were going to. Moving on though, we've still got about eight packs to open, so I guess we've got to be a lot more picky with what we're actually listing up with these eight spots, seeing as things aren't selling overly quickly at the moment. Um, oh, we got squad fitness, which is really nice there. I think there was 600 we got for that guy. We'll list the Irish guy up there, keep those in the club, and we'll list this up for 600 again. Oh, we went for 600 pretty quickly. Let's list it for 650. It's only 50 extra coins, but it might still instantly sell. And if it doesn't, it will definitely sell within the hour. So I'm still fine with that. Ah, that only leaves us with seven slots, though. I'm kind of getting worried that we're going to run out fairly quickly here. We do get a rare player at last, though. Could it be someone big? It's Japanese. At the moment, no use. But when the SBC drops for the Japanese League, he could have some kind of value. Uh, another Ipswich player. We've got so many Ipswich players. It wasn't long ago that these guys were selling for an absolute fortune and now that we're packing them all, they're just they going for nothing, annoyingly. We'll store those in the club. We'll store those three in the club as well. Five slots left now and still got about seven packs that we can open. So if we get like one card a pack that we can list, then we could get through all these coins. If not, then we could run out of space fairly quickly. Another rare one, though, it is from the Australian League. I think it's a Sydney player. And again... No, it was an Adelaide player. Those players were going for about 10k at some point this year, the Sydney ones. The other ones still had a bit of value to them as well. Uh, we'll list up the Irish guy again, because these guys seem to be selling. The rest of them we will just store in the club for now, though, because uh, four slots. We can't really do a lot more with four slots. It's annoying that we don't have the 100 slots available to us, but it's fine. If you do run out of slots at any point, just keep playing games. And eventually stuff will either sell or stuff won't sell. If it doesn't sell, just send it to the club and fill it up with something that's more likely to sell. If it does sell, then fantastic. Then you've made your coins anyway. You can just remove the item and free up a slot that way. Uh, Saudi guy that's not selling. And Scottish League, Kilmarnock, centre mid, not selling either. Keep all the contracts, keep the fitness. That still leaves us four slots to play around with. And 2,400 coins. So six packs left to go. But I don't think we go through them all, sadly. Can we get a third rare in a row? No, that would have just been too crazy. It would have just been too mad. Imagine getting like a team of the year or something in a bronze pack. Um, we get a Super League player. Super Leagues have been good to us so far. If he goes for about 500, I'm happy. We're going to list him up for 450. And then the German free centre mid and the Scottish centre back, along with the contracts and the fitness, can just go straight into the club. The pace isn't going to sell either. The physical, sorry, isn't going to sell either. So we've got a total of five packs left to go, but only three slots left. I'm just going to skip this pack. Maybe we'll get something crazy if we skip it. We do get a rare. It's an old Bundesliga rare. And we do get a centre-back. What? 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 Austrian. Going for this much. Is he using like an SBC on Footbin or something, maybe? Surely not. Okay, let's just listen for like 2-8 and see if he sells. I don't understand why he would be selling, but I'm not going to complain if he does sell for that much. Um, oh, God, this guy could sell as well. Damn, this could be a mad pack. 1,200's the cheapest. 950's just been listed. Uh, let's just undercut them all. There's no guarantee that that other one's going to sell. We'll store those three in the club. And I think that gives us one more pack that we can open here. But we do have some big ticket stuff on the transfer list if we are lucky enough to have it sell. And because that last pack was crazy, we're going to skip it again and see if it just keeps up that mad luck. Uh, I don't think it is. The Saudi goalkeeper might have a little bit. No. None of these guys are going to be worth much. We'll store them all in the club for now. Let's just check to see if this pace card actually does have a value. Ah, we might get 200 coins out of it, but it's just too much of a grind for me to bother. 1,200 coins. One more pack. This has got to be the last one. This is going to be the one that fills the last slot up and finishes this episode off. Because I have a fear that we're going to have a stupidly long episode here. We'll list up the Irish guy for 200 coins that will finish it and this episode has probably been like 20 30 minutes it's probably crazy when i get around to editing it but we've shown everything we've done so far we've played four games we're ending the episode on 885 coins with the full transfer list here i'm not going to remove anything that's sold i'm going to show you all next episode but if you guys are enjoying this, then make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, all of the normal stuff. All of these guides are going to hopefully be up on Footbin as well, so I'll leave links in the description for that, or you'll probably see it from their Twitter. Make sure you follow Footbin and myself 
on Twitter. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.